Welcome back to the Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on MLB The Show 24. The Reds currently in the month of May and they're doing all right. Sitting around 10 games over 500 are Cincinnati. And we're going to get a trade here from the Arizona Diamondbacks. Not going to take it. Kyle Nelson for Jay Allen. I would take some help in, you know, maybe the minors or in our bullpen with Nelson. He's a lefty, but the ERA of 6.88. Don't need it. I already have a lefty in the bullpen who has a high ERA and his name is Aroldis Chapman. So I might as well have the guy who throws 100 miles an hour than Kyle Nelson, who's not going to throw 100 miles an hour or 102 miles an hour. Anyways, I don't know why Mason Miller is making starts for us. I think it's actually, no, I know why. It's because we're doing bullpen games now. Because Hunter Green got hurt, he missed two starts. And we come up to this Cleveland Guardian series. And guys, I think it's time we pull the plug on Brandon Williamson. At least for now. We can always bring him back up. But he has not really smoothed things over. Still a 6 ERA. I think it's time we give a chance to the number 2 overall pick last year in Martin Valenzuela. Now... I'll give you a quick scouting report on Valenzuela. He's not going to blow you away with anything. He doesn't throw that hard. He doesn't. And he really doesn't pitch for strikeouts. He is a pitch to contact guy. And that's what we got with the number two pick in the draft, right? Like the Pirates last year got Paul Skeens. He's probably going to be dominant. He throws 101 every single pitch he throws. And we got a guy who pumps 89 and it really isn't going to blow you away with anything. He's trying to get outs with contact. There he is, wearing number three, Martin Valenzuela. Now, I did look at Rhett Lauder. Rhett Lauder's doing okay. We uh, just promoted him to AAA. He's only a 68 overall. It would be unfair to put the man out of Wake Forest immediately into the starting rotation. So Rhett Lauder's ETA, I would say, is next year. But if we need help, and if we desperately need him, we could bring him up right now. I know Valenzuela was pitching in Chattanooga, 4.16 ERA. It's not great, but the guy is 23, I believe, 75 overall. It's worth a chance compared to what Williamson was putting up this season. So let's do it, man. Reds and Guardians in the battle of Ohio. And folks, if you haven't yet, though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on the channel. TJ Friedel going to start things off by grounding out to second. Here comes Matt McClain. He'll put one on the ground right to J-Ram at third. Two up, two down here for the Reds to start us off. Jock Peterson, though, on the 1-1! One, one. Peterson, deep left center field! You can kiss it goodbye! It's a jock bomb for Jock Peterson. The first he has hit in gameplay with us playing with him. His pause, his ninth home run of the season. Jock Peterson homered in this series opener yesterday, and he's going to homer tonight. One and nothing for the Reds, thanks to the solo shot by Jock Peterson. Ellie De La Cruz will strike out right there, but he's been doing really well this season. Batting 320, we'll talk about him more in depth later. But right now, all the attention on Martin Valenzuela. He'll get Steven Kwan first sharply hit, but right to third and right to Christian Encarnacion Strand. Andres Jimenez on the ground, right to Matt McClain. Two up, two down. Yes, Encarnacion Strand's playing third because Noelfi Marte is just... He's just not doing well. He's got a, you know, average like 170 right now. His batting, yeah, his batting average is 170. Um, anyways, after a walk suffered against Josh Naylor, Jose Ramirez is going to pick up a single in the left. So Valenzuela dealing with a little bit of trouble. Kerry Carpenter, the former Detroit Tiger, going to rip one to right. Will Benson going to let it drop. And that's going to be a run scored here for Cleveland. They do it all with two outs. Kerry Carpenter, RBI single, makes it one to one. Eloy Jimenez now going to rip one. Deep left field. Over the head of Spencer Steer. It's going to get down. The Guardian's going to pick up another one, maybe two. Eloy Jimenez with the two out. RBI, two RBI double, making this game three to one. And again, Valenzuela had two outs, nobody on. Yeah, he's going to get the final out here as that one's blasted into deep left center field. But the score is now 3-1 as Cleveland has done their damage against the debuting pitcher in Valenzuela. Again, he just does not pitch for strikeouts at all. He is a pitch to contact guy. And we'll see if he even gets a strikeout tonight. Because simply, that's just not what he does. Christian Encarnacion Strand on the 2-2. By the way, yeah, we are still playing Joey Votto. Uh, J-Mare Candelario should be back soon, but still not yet. So yes, Votto is kind of an everyday player right now, or at least against right-handed pitching. Encarnacion Strand is definitely an everyday player right now because we just need him. Because Marte just simply isn't cutting it. I'll probably move him to AAA next episode, honestly. Um, yeah, so I guess Valenzuela just 
refuses to not walk a nailer he walks Bo, walks josh but right there he will get the double play turn on one stephen kwan so he gets out the inning to the top of the third spencer sierra will leave things off and fly one into the left field um real quick i again i mentioned it in the last episode different setup so if i do sound different that's what it is again i have a different mic setup and everything so it is what it is anyways tyler stevenson blasts one in deep center field i haven't even mentioned daniel espino who's pitching tonight for cleveland he's done a pretty solid job until tj friedel right there is going to rip one into the corner and right so Friedel will be on with the two out double and let's see if Matt McLean can pick him up runner in scoring position two gone McLean gonna hit one in the right field that ball should die out Carpenter oh the dive Kerry Carpenter takes one away from the Reds should have been an RBI single for Matt McLean instead the score is still 3-1 and Andres Jimenez will lead off the bottom of the third with a single Josh Naylor on the 2-1 pitch puts one on the ground Matt McLean should have the turn he's gonna go to Ellie we're probably not gonna be able to, do to double him up will not Naylor beats it out at first runner on first with one out for Jose Ramirez who will line one in the right field there is Will Benson Two gone in the inning. Big spot now for Kerry Carpenter on the 2-2. Got one going in the first right there, though. Carpenter grounds one out to the second baseman in Matt McLean. To the top of the fourth, Jock Peterson has our only run scored tonight. And there you go. That is as quick as a double as you're going to get. Jock Peterson gets on with the automatic double. Ellie De La Cruz now follows by lining one in the left field. That one is going to be caught out there by Stephen Kwan. But Peterson is going to be able to tag because it is somewhat deep. And now you got a runner on third with one out for Will Benson. Got to put something in play, but nothing going. Benson strikes out. Votto strikes out. Way to work by Daniel Espino. Gets back-to-back -back strikeouts to get out of the jam. Does not give up a run in the top half of the fourth inning. And man, the Guardians just having their way right now with Martin Valenzuela. Elo Jimenez with a double in the left. Now up, Brian Rocchio. And he's going to strike out fastball up and in. Valenzuela gets him looking. It is his first Major League strikeout. I didn't know if he was going to get it or not. He does. Colton Kowser will strike out as well. Valenzuela now. Back-to-back -back Ks. Can he get three? Not those three. Okay, it's fine. Bo Naylor into left field. There is a fly out to Spencer Steer. To the fifth inning, we now head. It's still down by two. Christian Encarnacion Strand playing third base tonight. We'll fly one into foul ground into right field. There, though, will be Carpenter. One gun for Spencer Steer. Again, Steer does not really love hitting against right-handed pitching, but this season moving India we've kind of had Steer do this if he continues to struggle against right-handed pitching I'm not against bringing in another platoon guy to split with him at second base or left field matter of fact Stevenson will get on with an error made in the infield and now Friedel gets hit so just like that go ahead and run to the plate Matt McLean 3-2 spot huge spot and he strikes out oh yeah I mean, the Reds have not been able to get anything going so far with runners on base in general, right? Our only run comes with a solo shot. Quan is going to be on here to lead off the bottom of the fifth with a single. Andres Menez, though, going to hit one. Taylor made, but Matt McLean takes forever to make the turn, and we're only going to get the force at second. So runner on first ends up stealing second in Jimenez, and Josh Naylor gets a hold of one. Deep right field, and it's gone. That will likely do it for Martin Valenzuela. Josh Naylor came into today batting 335, one of the better players hitting wise in the American League. And yes, Valenzuela's day is done after four and a third. So in comes Gregory Soto, the hard throwing lefty will probably give a just different pace, I guess. And it did just, he's gonna throw the ball a lot harder than Valenzuela. He'll walk the leadoff man, unfortunately, in J-Ram, but he's gonna get Kerry Carpenter to fly out, or sorry, pop out on that 100 mile an hour fastball. Jimenez on the 1-1 does the same exact thing. He will pop out in foul ground. There is CES, Christian Encarnacion Strand. We move to the top of the sixth inning. Up first, Jock Peterson. Oh man, just a very bad swing. One gone for Ellie De La Cruz. He chops one on the ground. There is Josh Naylor. Two up, two down so far in the top of the sixth. Now up will be Will Benson. On the 1-1, one, one, the lefty hits one up the middle. Oh my goodness. PFPs though. What a snag at the mound by Daniel Espino. And the Guardians still hold it at a four-run lead. Gregory Soto leads off the bottom of the sixth with a strikeout. He's going to get Colton Kowser with some help by the umpire. Don't know how that was a strike. And Bo Naylor is going to get popped out to Joey Votto in foul ground. So a very quick bottom of the sixth for Gregory Soto. But we got to get some runs coming. In comes Eli Morgan out the pen. 4.91 ERA in the regular season. And Joey Votto hits number two in the return season. Joey Votto goes deep opposite field again, his second 
of his return with the Cincinnati Reds. 399 feet off the bat. Shout out to Joey Votto. That's a huge fly into left center field. 5-2 now our score. The Reds back within striking distance, I would say, as CES going to hit one hard into deep center field, but it is going to be caught out there. One gone in the inning for the eight spot now, and Spencer Steer on the 2-2. Steer flies one into right field, but there is the former Tiger, Kerry Carpenter. Two down, Tyler Stevenson on the 2-1 pitch, reached on an error last time, but Stevenson always just great at making contact, it feels like. He's on with a single, and they immediately pull Morgan, go to Sam Hentges, two ERA so far in the season. He'll see Friedel first in the 1-2, and Friedel chases. Not our best day with pitch selection. To the bottom half of the inning, here comes Aroldis Chapman again. Sometimes he's good, sometimes he's not. Hopefully for a good day today. There you go. He gets Quan in the fastball looking. Jimenez in the 1-1 pitch. That one's going to be flown into left field. There is Spencer Steer charging in. Two gone now. Three spot up. It is Josh Naylor. Hit a two-run bomb in his last A-B. This time he'll ground one to Matt McLean. So Araldis Chapman with a surprising 1-2-3 bottom of the seventh inning. Got to get some runs scored and it's just not happening right now for the Reds. Matt McClain grounds out to second. Jock Peterson looking to bunt with a hit. I mean, doesn't look horrible right here, but Ramirez charges in and beats him by a step and a half. Two down, Ellie De La Cruz chops one over the middle. He's got 99 speed. This is probably a hit. Yeah, it is. All right, Ellie De La Cruz with an infield single, but the problem is we cannot hit with runners on. Doesn't matter. Ellie De La Cruz got 99 speed, and he's going to get thrown out at second base. My goodness. James Karinchak with the revenge game tonight against his former team in the Guardians. I know, again, Will Benson used to play on the Guardians as well, so a lot of former players returning tonight, but he's going to get a pop out right there to start off the inning. Kerry Carpenter strikes out. Jimenez in the 1-2. Got him as well. So a 1-2-3 bottom of the 8 for Karinchak, but now we got to face this guy. 0.96 ERA on the season for Emmanuel Classe, and how do you hit that? On legend, 100 mile an hour cutter? I mean, what are we doing? Oh man, Classe is gross in this game. He's gonna get Votto to ground out, and now we are down to our final out. It comes with CES, and Encarnacion Strand actually walks. So runner on first, two gone. Spencer Steer on the one-two pitch will fly one into left field. The left fielder and Steven Kwan is under it, and that is your ball game. The Cleveland Guardians won the first two of this three-game set here in Cleveland. And again, the Guardians win back-to-back. -back. They take down the Reds here tonight. Valenzuela was shaky. I thought he got back on track after that first inning and really just had a difficult time in the fifth dealing with Josh Naylor with that big shot in the right field. I think he can be better, but really we we'll have to keep an eye out on him. If he does struggle this season, I'm not afraid to go back to Brandon Williamson or look to a trade um, with another team or even look at potentially Rhett Louder, but again, I just think Louder needs more time with his low overall right now. I just want to see him progress a little bit more. I think it's unfair to him if we rush him out there right now. So we'll see, folks. Again, continuing down the line here in the 2025 regular season. Keep it tuned here on the channel. Make sure, that's, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy the video. You can folks, thank you for watching, and Mamba forever.